What's up everybody, this is Scratch and I got a quick video here for you. We are going to take a look at hunting the great Jagras, but also um, it could be hunting pretty much anything. I'm going to show you how to use the Ecologist. Um, this is one of the resources that you're going to have available to you in the game um, to help you fight monsters. So for example, if you were at the Resource Center in a previous video, you probably noticed uh, that there were investigations that we're looking at here on the screen um, to hunt different animals. Uh, we're going to use the Jagras here as an example, um, but I'm going to show you how to go about uh, leveling up your knowledge of these monsters and fighting them the proper way to make it as easy as possible using the ecologist. So one of the things that you're going to want to do is while you're out on an expedition, a quest, and even in another investigation, is you're going to want to look for signs of the animal or the monster that you're hunting. And you can do this by looking for scrapes, slime, uh, there's belly slides, there's footprints as you can see me collecting here. Uh, your scout flies will seek them out and maybe even discover the monster themselves um, in order to level up your knowledge. You can see over there on the right hand side of the screen the indications uh, that I have leveled up my knowledge of this monster and then I can head over to the ecologist here in the uh, back in the main base right here at the start you'll see this little dude sitting over here on this pile of books so we're gonna wanna run over and talk to him. This is the ecologist and he houses all of the knowledge available to you um, in the form of a monster field guide research levels and all of that stuff you can see there that the monster field guide updated and if I go here I can see the different levels that I have of monsters my research levels the bonuses that I get um, for having a, a monster researched uh, you know to a certain level Another thing that I can do is actually go into the monster field guide and you can actually see that I'm able to investigate the type of monster even further. I can see what they're strong against, what they're weak against, um, what I can collect from them, uh, where their weak points are, and all of that sort of stuff just to give me a general knowledge of how I should go about fighting this monster. So now that I've learned what I need to have, I need to head over here to the center of town and you can take the lift up to the workshop. The workshop is a place where you can forge weapons and armor and different equipment. So based on what the monster's strength and weaknesses were, I'm going to outfit myself with the types of weapons that I should bring um, and also the types of armor that I should wear. In this case, I'm going to forge a bone blade, uh, which will be used to kill the Great Jagras. Now, if I've never used one of these before, I can head over to the training area, which for Ninja Toads has a video about this. I will link in a card up above here. But I can head over here to the training area in my house and basically learn how to use the weapon uh, that I'm doing. Because one thing in Monster Hunter that you don't do is really pick a class of character. You can choose any of the weapons that you want to use, and you'll probably end up using all of the different weapons through the course of the game, depending on the types of monsters that you're fighting. Um, in order to do it. So this training area is a good place to come through and practice the different moves and things like that that you'll need to learn to be successful. Then all that's left to do is to head to an area where that monster lives. We also found that in the monster field guide. If you've already discovered them, you can actually mark them with a pin and your scout flies will take you to their location uh, where you can start fighting them using the skills and tactics that you've just practiced. If you're using a blade, for example, one thing to keep in mind is also to keep it sharp. You can notice there's a sharpening meter up in the left-hand corner. Um, you can use the sharpening in your radial wheel or uh, in your equipment to make sure that your strikes on the monster are as strong as they can possibly be. Once they're weakened, you should be able to finish them off pretty quickly. This is a vulnerable state here uh, where you can just sort of go to town. This is where you're going to want to practice all of those moves that you learned. And then once they get back up, they're probably going to be pretty wounded and they're going to try to run away. So once they start running away, you know you've pretty much got it in the bag because they're really, really hurt. You can see he's sort of limping. Um, I'm going to use the environment here to kind of stun him a little bit and then um, I'm able to finally actually kill him and then collect what it is I need. So basically this same template applies to all the monsters in the game. You just sort of follow that formula of going through to the different resources that you can find um, in your main base. Uh, do your research, get your weapons, practice, and you'll be killing monsters in no time. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave that down below. And I uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.